Hi everyone, Del here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you char cloth, making char cloth in a traditional method. So you've seen me make it with a tin, which is um, what everybody does now. But back in the day, um, Vikings and um, middle-aged people were not, they'd use clay. So they'd use riverbed clay. Um, so we're going to give it a go. So this is the first time I've done it like this, but we'll try it and see how we get on. So they would just find the substances about where, where they were at. So just normal um, river, riverbed clay or, or, um, or even ran about peat bogs and things like that. So we'll give it a go and see how we get on. So what we want to do is we want to make a container out of the clay. I only know this through history, I've not actually done it yet, so it's a, it's a good little uh, field, field test for us. And then um, we'll get some of the cotton material, so this is 100% cotton, like I said yesterday. Um, it's the best stuff to use, these, these are just old pyjamas, but they're 100% cotton. Um, no synthetics, because it, it, it just won't take a spark, and it'll just burn anyways. And we'll put that inside the clay. And then we'll wrap it up. So, a bit like the um, tin, we'll need to leave a hole in the top of it for it to I'll put a little bit more in there for it to vent. I showed you that yesterday with the tin. Just the flames coming out. Once you see the flames coming out, you know that it's working. So we'll leave a little hole in the top like that. So if there's any flames to come out, we'll hopefully see it. This is damp, so we'll see how long it takes. See if the fuel gel that I use is actually, um, if it burns long enough to actually do it. So it's just the dragon fuel gel. It's really good for doing stuff like this. We'll put that in there. Then we'll just get it lit, that's it alight, and then we'll just get that on top. Now, I'm not too sure how well this will go. Like I said, I've not tried it before, and the clay is pretty uh, damp. But we'll see how we get on, and I don't know how long it will take. Um, if the if the fuel gels long it you know burns long enough to do it, but we'll see. We'll see if we can get it going. It's a good experiment. But that's how they used to do it back in the day. They would just use riverbed clay to bake the charred material in. I'm going to do a few videos because you know we go on about traditional um, steels, fire striking steels and stuff but it's all mild still we use and um, back in the day it was iron that's what they forged so I will be making an iron striker and we'll be trying it with that and see and see um, see how we get on obviously it's a colder spark so it'll take longer to get going but we'll see now I think can't be right if there's a wee bit of smoke coming out the top of that now I've actually got another fuel block, so I can put another fuel block on if we run out of time with that one. Traditionally you would just make the clay pot and put it actually in the embers um, of the fire and just let it cook away like that. But nothing, nothing to lose by experimenting. We'll give it a wee go. Nothing yet. A wee bit of smoke, that's about it really. Clay is really hard. So I'm hoping the clay doesn't burn before the um, before the material does. 
but this is in real time so just bear, bear with us on it I'm not editing any of it so we're just doing it um, live real time so that you can actually see how long it would take to do it you know last night was nine minutes the whole process which was pretty good and we'll just see with this one how long this takes imagine it's going to be a little bit um, longer just with the dampness of the clay to burn that out first so there's the clay exploded a wee bit I did think it might do that so we saw that crack so we'll just see if anything's going to happen with that nothing yet I may well put another um, fuel block on and we'll see if it just takes that bit longer just to get it going so that's the clay popping What we'll have to watch is it doesn't catch fire. It may well smoke inside, but I might just be it catching fire. I can see it smoking. I think what we'll do is we'll maybe let that burn out before I put another pot on it. Now it hasn't burnt as such. I've not seen the flame come out of it. But I can smell it, and I can see the smoke coming out of it. So I actually wonder if that would be enough for it to actually take an ignition. You see the smoke coming out of it now? Rather than just the side of the dampness of the clay. So we can do one or two things here. We can let it settle down and see what that's like um, as is. Or we can maybe put another block on that. See the smoke on that coming out of it? I wonder if that would be enough inside that. It's not actually broken. Like I thought it might have exploded and broken it. You see the smoke coming out? If I can hold it right there. So I'm not too sure if that would be enough in there. Um, shall we try another block? I'll just put that there for a minute there. I wonder if we should try another block. And see how we get on. See if cooking it a wee bit longer. Right, I'm going to grab another block and see. So we grab another block, it's still smoking in there, we'll grab another block, obviously if it was in a big fire, like traditionally rather than just trying to do it quickly on a stove, um, it would take as long as it takes, so there we go, let's put that back on. So, we're back on again, and we'll just keep an eye on that. So yeah, just trying to, I just, I've not seen it done like this before, so I just wanted to give it a try, and see, uh, see how we get on, doing it that way. Just wipe the clay off this blade, it goes hard. 
I like doing the traditional stuff. Um, I think we lose we lose track of it, and we you know we lose the skill of it. So I think it's good to keep doing. Lovely little knife that. Handy. Obviously, with the yesterday's one, it was done within eight minutes with the tin. Let's try it this way. See how we get on. If you didn't have a tin and all you had was clear around you to make this, could you do it? Let's find out. We can also use the Hessian sack that I use to keep things in. You can cut that up and use that um, instead of the cloth too. But we'll see how we get on now. <laughs> We're just watching it doesn't explode. Obviously it was cracking a wee bit. Just as the moisture content come out of that. Maybe if the opening was just too big on that. Maybe give it a go. What I will do after this one is I'll crack it open and we'll see if whatever's inside can actually take a spark. I think that's the best way. It's definitely smoking in there now. It's a good bit of smoke in there now. And I can definitely smell it too. So obviously with a decent fire you could probably get that going really well and just getting the whole size right on the top looking good nice bit of smoke So we'll watch that go. Once this block's died out, we'll crack that open. And we'll see if it doesn't crack itself. Fingers crossed this will take us back. Can we crack it open? Only one way to find out. It's not exploded yet. So that's a good thing. There's been a few bits come off the bottom, but nothing big. So that's that gel block dying out now. So we're going to take a look inside this and see what we've got. If it's charred enough to take a spark. Now all that smoke you see is actually coming out of that. I've not seen the flame as such yet. That's how I'd normally tell with the tins. So I'm presuming it would be the same principle with the clay, but we'll find out. So that's our clay parcel. Let's 
is going to be interesting. And we're going to see what's inside that. Like I said, this is all real time. So, let's see. So it only just started to singe. Look, it's actually a light. See that? So I'm wondering if we left that a bit longer. Let's just put that out a wee bit. So maybe a bit longer on the bake might have done that. Put that out completely. So that's it all out. Nothing's glowing. So let's see if a bit of that Let's try this one. Would actually hold a spark. I think we needed a bit longer on that one. Let's try one that's a bit more charred. <clears throat> there we go. So it can be done. I think a bit more longer on the um, on the charring process. I reckon if we'd put another another block on it, then that would have done it. But I would say that's success. With practice, we could get that right, get the right time on it, um, get the clay sealed up properly, and uh, Bob's your uncle. So, it does work. Practice will make better. There you go, guys. Get out there, practice something new, and see how you get on. Stay safe, everyone. Prepadel out.